The game chart is a schedule that gives you dates of when you need to complete certain things by. It keeps you on track because it makes you know whether you've done certain things you've meant to be done by a certain date. It makes you more organised because you can see whether you haven't done things and if you're behind. It's hard because it's a living document, so you have to change it because things can't always go the way that you plan it. And it's not a legal document, but it's very useful to use. The script is a document that contains the dialogue and the stage directions of what is going to happen in the scene. A strength about the script is that it shows the actor straight away what they are meant to be doing and it gives them clear directions of what should be happening and what should happen on the screen in that scene. A weakness about the script is that it's really long and it's just lots of text so some people might get bored of writing it and they might just um, reading it and might skip some parts out. This isn't a legal document but it's still very useful for actors and the directors to get their point across on their vision of how the scene should go. The risk assessment is a health and safety document. This is good because it gives you protocols on what to do when someone gets injured. A bad thing is it's not possible to predict every single outcome in a way someone can hurt themselves on the set. It is legally required and it is necessary because it can prepare people for possible dangers that they can encounter on set. I personally would use this in the future because I think it's a very effective method of stopping people or reacting to people getting injured. The location recce is the plan of what's going to happen at the location. It shows health and safety issues of the location and how you can deal with them. Reasons of filming could be interrupted there, so it also states of ways to avoid or what could possibly happen when you're recording there. A weakness is it might not you might not be able to foresee what people could do or what could go wrong at the location, so there wouldn't be much to write down. A strength is that it could make you more prepared. So, for example, if someone was to trip over a camera and it would fall and break, you could have a spare camera so that your journey to the destination wouldn't be wasted. It is a legal document because it is health and safety and I think it is pretty useful but it isn't completely needed. The call sheet is a legal document which has to be private due to having one's information on the sheet. This is a good document because it is easier to contact your actors and other members of staff when the production is going on. A negative thing about it is that the actors and other staff might change their contact details during the production. The requirements is a pre-production tool that you use to make sure that you have all the equipment, uh, sounds and all of the extras and things you need to use during your production. It also links to the budget so that you make sure how much that you've spent. It's a very good tool to be able to know what you need or what you're missing throughout the production. The location release is a legally required document. It has to be signed by the owner of the location it, uh, if you want to use the location. It's good because it, it will keep you out of trouble and being sued from the owners of the location. But it's also bad because you might not be able to get hold of the owners of the location to get it signed so you won't be able to use the location. Uh, it is an extremely useful piece of pre-production because it can stop you from getting into a lot of financial issues because people will be suing you 
because you have used their property without their permission. The act of release is very similar to the location release, but instead of it being about the location, it's about the actors. So you have to get your, all of your actors to sign it so that they can't sue you for them being in your production, them being in your production without, your, without their permission. It's also very useful because it stops people from being able to claim certain benefits from them being the owner of the film. The asset log is used to log all of the footage and sound you have taken from other people. This is a legal document that needs to be done to make sure that you don't do any copyright infringements or take anyone else's footage without their permission. Doing this is giving yourself permission to use their sounds and footage so it will stop you from getting sued. The edit decision list is used to know where all of the clips you have used in your movie or advert is been edited. So you can look back for a certain clip uh, so that you can see what you have done to it. So if you need to make any more changes, you know exactly what time and whereabouts in the advert it should be. This helps from when there are more than one person editing it. So that people can see what other people have done without having to go and ask them personally. This isn't a legal document, but it is extremely useful and I would advise it being used. Doing research before is actually extremely good to do before actually making your advert because it can help you have a clearer image of what the company has done before and what a common trend in the advert in the company's adverts are so that you can take ideas from them and make it your own so that it will be yours originally but it will still have the character of the product itself when you are recording you'll have to think of all the regulations all the paperwork and all the things that you've been doing is a regulation in order to be a professional broadcaster, you, you, you don't have to do all of the paperwork that has been done, but it is better for you to do it so that you can be more organised and keep track of what's going on where and how stuff is being done. The SWOT analysis is strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. It tells you what the strengths are of the advert what the weaknesses are, the advert, what could get in your way, maybe change so that the weaknesses won't be there. Uh, an opportunity, this will show the opportunities that your advert could have, the, some of the things that you could do with your advert. And the threats is that threats from Ofcom maybe and other regulators like that will like ban your advert because it's not suitable or it isn't follow the rules and regulations. The initial idea and the proposal is good because it shows other people what thought processes you are going through and helps people understand your point of view when you're trying to sell them your idea. So the proposal tells them what your final idea is but your initial ideas are several ideas that you think you could do, but it isn't quite your final idea yet because you haven't decided on which is the best one. The script isn't a legal document, but it is extremely helpful in the way that it tells the actors what they should be saying, what should be going on on the screen at the time of that scene. So it makes it easier for the actors to know what they're doing so that you don't have to take many takes and waste a lot of time having to reshoot over and over again. Ofcom is the communications regulator. They regulate the TV and radio sectors, fixed line telecoms, mobiles, postal services, plus the airways over which wireless devices operate. 
to make sure that the people in the UK get the best from their communication services and are protected from scams, sharp practices, while ensuring that the com competition can thrive. The, the BECTU is a union in the United Kingdom that is for media and the entertainment trade. They cover seven different sectors, which are film, broadcasting, theatre, independent production, the arts and leisure and digital media. The ASA basically has the same job as Ofcom, where they will check any complaints that are made about advertisements. And if they find that the complaint, the complaint is correct and it is a breach of certain rules and regulations, they will make sure that the advert is taken down as soon as possible. The BBFC's job is to classify what age rating they think certain movies should be and to check if a movie is too long or too short to be actually produced and shown. The company is completely not in it for profit. It, it, it just does it to make sure that companies can thrive without breaking any regulations. Peggy is mostly known for their ratings of video games, but they also do films, videos, and DVDs. What they do is that they say what is contained in the movie, video game, DVD, etc. So they say whether there's violence, gambling, swearing, sex, drug use, and other things like that, so that it could warn the viewer beforehand so that they can work out whether it's suitable for them to be watching it or not. The PCC is an independent self-regulatory company which deals with complaints from the general public about newspapers, magazines and the websites from the newspapers and magazines. They keep and make sure that any harassment or offensive things that have been used in the newspaper or magazines are taken out so that further complaints won't be made.